Hi, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna go be going over the container garden and the two raised beds and the different fruit trees and pineapples and all the citrus trees and uh, lychee trees and all that and even raspberries also. Uh, my wife's been with me today. Hey. Tell your channel. I'm homeschooling abridged and I do canning, some of the showing of the garden sometimes and uh, what we're doing in our homeschooling. She also does some of the crochet. Oh yeah, crochet, nature. yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, <coughs> so, anyway, uh, this here, we're gonna start off over here with the raspberries that the dogs uh, decided to tear down so we can't taste any more of them because they ripped all the fruit off of them. Uh, they literally ripped this here off. Wow. They threw it over good. here. And Patrick did ask, well, what caused it? There's only one thing big enough in this backyard to cause it. Hello, Rico. Yeah. <laughs> Right Hi, baby. Uh, Daddy's talking strong dog, but chicken. I guarantee you she's the one that did it, or he's the one that did it. Okay, this here is the raspberries. Uh, mm -hmm. These are ones coming up. And this is here. It's coming up from for next year's cane, which is what you want to see. Uh, they are ever bearing, so, and I just pulled up that. Uh, they do have a few beets in here. We can see Yay. how they do. And, what uh, doing? You know. Some things that eat on it. But, uh, it might be. Yeah, yep. Ooh. Yeah. When you do that, you do that really fast because they will get <laughs> on you. So you don't want to just mess around and you just hit them and they'll come up to the top. Uh, that is the Crimson Knight uh, raspberries. This in here is a Mysore raspberry. Uh, that's the red raspberry. And this here is a black raspberry. You're not supposed to keep those together. But I mean, they're gonna eat these easy regardless of what you do up here. I did put them in a pot. You don't want to put them in too big a pot because I am going to bring those in because they are also subject to cold weather. These will be fine in cold weather, but the mysores are sensitive to freezing weather. This over here is a big pineapple, and I'm gonna put it up in a bigger pot. And we got ourselves a little froggy. Let's see down here the bottom. He's down there hiding. And we will put that in a one of those bigger pots. Uh, this is a smaller one that I have. It's got some more puffs to it, uh, and it does make uh, pineapple big enough to eat. It's not that great, from what my wife told me. Uh, this here is a ginger. And it's getting about time to. And I may do a ginger video, and you can't see. Oh, yeah. You can see it pretty good. How much ginger it's made, and we'll pull that out. And store that in the refrigerator, or she may dry some. You still got much from last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make that. really well. Uh, and then the smaller one. What I don't like about you know five gallon is if you notice here, you can see it. We planted it here. It grew this way, and then it hits the pot, and it kind of stops. Uh, they're they're kind of like a rhizome where they just grow in one direction. Uh, this is the tea that we grow on green tea. Mm -hmm. Something broke the top of it out of it. Yep. Probably a dog. Yeah. Or could be a squirrel. There is a squirrel. They started having I, I saw a squirrel run across the yard today. Uh, this is the other pineapple. It didn't do very good. I planted it in the middle of summer, stuck in a pot. These leaves survived, but it just got a pup on the side of it. And this will take over the root system and end up growing uh, much like that one over there. These are the new plants that I planted with the. Uh, uh, Pineapple guava, that's a strawberry guava. Oh. This here is the uh, Victoria Red uh, grape. And that's set there since I took the last video. So I have not had a chance to mess with them. There's the other dough on there. <coughs> and this is some of the, oh, something's eating on them again. Uh, loquats that I grew from seed. So. That was pretty light, so it'd probably be some water. Uh, we got the lemongrass growing here. Uh, this is the buckets. Now, whenever you, if you get these buckets like this, you shove them together, and they do tend to stick. What my idea is, I'm gonna hang these up like this, and then I'll put some weights on it, and over time, I hope that it pops up. But right now, they're stuck together, uh, so that can be a problem. These already had host. In them, so I just stuck that through there. I just haven't got around to doing that yet. I'll probably get it done this week. Uh, I did want to show this and the fact that this is a 
this is being grown and it's very light so it's really in the water uh with the opisorb um diatomaceous earth and i say all the all the roots are still in it and that's growing really well better than the rest of them so you know you can do that uh, here's another low quad that's just in a uh, regular fine mix this one i've got for somebody who needs a uh, okinawa spinach and this one still isn't dead so we're still leaving it going the dog don't get in the middle of it coming up over here This is a different type of, of brassicas that I'm growing in the containers. Uh, this one here, I wish I planted a little bit deeper because it is one that's kind of sprawled out, so it's kind of moving back and forth on me. This is the, the lettuce that we're growing, and it's going to fix the boat. So if you want any lettuce or salad, now's the time to do it. Uh, and over here is the other loquat. Uh, and it's a Yahula loquat. It has got lots of blooms on it. Hopefully it gets lots of fruit. And then we got a little spider right there. Yeah. <laughs> but he's hiding. Uh, I'm more scared of the snakes than spiders. This is the lettuce, I mean the uh, carrots that I'm growing. Uh, I do need to water them again, I think. And some of the snap peas that I've got growing, but oh, they're okay. kind of getting out competed. Yeah. This one here is doing okay if I can. I need to set that. Don't take it back over. And like I say, this is just a big difference. This is where I put the uh, uh, black cow. It's a stuff. big difference. And then I'll put the other over here. And then I say, you just, this here, you see that big one over there? And I think it's now stuck to the ground. Oh, this nice. is the other one that's grew, grew, grown at the same, grew at the same time. It was grown at the same time. Uh, I just need to put it in a bigger pot. I just haven't done that yet. There's some of your- My chives. Yeah, your garlic chives. Yeah. I need to- I was looking for those. They're right there. They're right there. Uh, <laughs> Everybody points at it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the tomatoes. micro tomatoes. Uh, this one here is Little Peeps. It's not quite so little. Uh, I'll turn it over, turn it around. Uh, this one here, I think is the I don't have a sign on it, it's uh, the Rosie Finch. This one here is also a Rosie Finch, apparently. <laughs> and this one is Fat Frog. Hmm. This one has some worms on it. I did spray the worms. Yeah, I can see it already. And, and this one here is Little Peeps also. It's a pretty good size cherry tomatoes. And this here is the other fat frog. Yep, a few on it. None of them has ripened yet. And that is one thing in this time of year, they take a while to ripen because it gets cold. The enzymes kind of slow down. I do got a few more over uh, underneath the porch. They're not doing quite as well. So I'm kind of separating them because I don't want any diseases to spread. Uh, and then I got this, uh, I can never remember the names of this. Clementine, uh, Mandarin. It just doesn't look good. Uh, I'll probably fertilize it some more and see what happens. But and then you got the Myra lemons that we really need to pick because they're ready. Oh wow! Yeah. I haven't been outside. I haven't felt well all that. And I've even uh, the pomelos, and they're ready. Well, uh, that's actually before it passed ready. Okay. And the big daddy over here. Mm. Uh, really looks good. So, and it's got one fruit on it, but it doesn't got one. This is pumpkin, and it's got good flavor to it. Uh, I, I tried the other one, I put, put the other two together, but uh, it's got really good flavors. It's, plant's doing well. And uh, you know, this is kind of what you'd kind of expect. Just hopefully it don't break right before you harvest everything. So, uh, and, and that to me, about the size pot that you need is going to be doing, doing these citrus. If you get some smaller pots, they just don't produce as well. This will produce enough. It's also, uh, if you have help, it's easy to move in and out. If you're a single person, it'll be kind of hard. Uh, 
to do. This is the other one. Uh, this is the uh, uh, Jiu-Jitsu uh, that's in the pot. Uh, the previous video or video just after this, I think it's the way I put them up. You see, it produced a lot more that's in the ground, so it's, you know, doing all right. But it just, this one just, just not ever going to produce as much. But, and it may produce more this next year, because I did pot it up bigger this year. Uh, this is the other one that I potted up. I'm going to have to water it uh, for the nectarine. And I know this looks bad. I need to add some more. But what has happened is I had it about right at this level. Then I realized that it was crooked, so I put some more underneath there. When I did that, then this raised it a little bit higher. But it'll, it'll collapse down some over time. Uh, and this is a long tree over here. Long and produces well. It doesn't look real well, but when I was at the, the nursery up there in uh, Jarian Nursery in Houston, theirs didn't look that great either. So I don't know if it's just this time of year they'll look so good or what. Uh, the lychee tree is doing really well. Uh, I think it's a little too vigorous, uh, but hopefully I can keep it. If it gets cold weather, we we'll probably can put this in, inside the garage uh, at times. So. Because it doesn't like anything. If it gets below 30 degrees, I got to pull it inside the garage. So, uh, same thing with this one. But I'm not real happy with this one. Uh, this is a lime tree, and I did put it in a bigger pot. It did seem to kind of perk it up a little bit. Uh, I know Christie's over at uh, uh, Little Salty Homesteaders has got a lot better tree than I've got. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this is this is the one that's uh, the one that's coreless. And I always remember the, the, the name of it until I bring it out here. And I probably need to put it in a bigger pot also. Mm -hmm. This is the least you try to take it. See that one right there. So it's the one that I've got growing here. And it's starting to do good. I'm doing this for cross pollination because I do think leeches need to be cross pollinated. Uh, as long as things do okay without cross pollination, but that would be. Good. Coming up over here is this is Valencia orange. I do got one orange on it that I left on there. It's not supposed to do, but I'll give it a try. Kiss uh, you. It's going right here. Okay. That's mm. just that's just off the oak tree. Mm. Uh, and then this is here. So. Demo is the, the riding or the commercial name for it. We've got two of those, and that here is the uh, The Chandler, and that's not saying it. Or Boro, uh, Pomelo, or grapefruit. They kind of go back and forth on this one. Some places say it's, it's a grapefruit, some people say it's a Pomelo. Uh, I will say the Pomelo is the original. And then they developed, they crossed it out and, and uh, made the grapefruit. So actually, pomelo was the original fruit. And then it's, I think it's one of the few American varieties is the grapefruit because it's not actually in the Orient. It was actually made up uh, in, somewhere in the Caribbean, if I remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, the newer fruit trees, uh, orange trees that I got, uh, this is the blood orange. Uh, Morocco, and this is the page mandarin. It's supposed to have really good flavor with a lot of seeds. Uh, this is here is New Zealand uh, pineapple. Uh, it's a New Zealand uh, lemonade tree, so I'm going to get the two different lemonade trees, see which one tastes best. This one over here is the other blood orange, the Moro. Moral blood orange, uh, and this here, this another kiss you. So I got two kiss you. Kiss you are good. Uh, this is uh, another loquat tree. So I got plenty of loquat trees. Uh, this here is uh, one of the mid size uh, pineapple. That's the pineapple that uh, put all the stickers on it. That's an ornamental one. Yeah, that's the ornamental one. We have to go around and see the other ornamental. And this is the other one that's the regular pineapple that I grew out of it. Uh, this here 
I grew is the cherry of the real ground. I grew it from seed and it's up growing. This is one of the mid-sized ones too. It also has a uh, tomato growing out of it. A lot of times you see these, you can find the worms on them, just pick them off so you don't have to. I don't see that. Uh, coming around here. Somewhere around here, we got my other. These are big buckets that I get. Uh, it has a, their cowlick buckets. Now, I will say that on this one is a lot of people I got from put these hoses in the bottom of it. You don't want to do that because what that does is that allows any roots from trees to go right in your bucket. Uh, you know, the thing you do is just move your bucket like that and you'll break the roots. But if not, you will get tree roots coming up in your bucket. In fact, sometimes they'll come in even on the sides. And they put a lot of holes in it. Honestly, you can put a hole in all four sides and you'd be fine. I'd also put the hose in a little bit higher up. So that'll have a little reservoir for you. So whenever in the summertime, you put the water in there, you have a reservoir so it can soak it back up into the soil. Because what would tend to happen when you water these things is all the water goes into the sides. You see it running out the bottom, you think, okay, they're full. But in the middle, it, be it becomes dry. And once it becomes dry, it's hard to ever get that wet again, especially if you used um, your, uh, You use uh, peat moss. So peat moss is bad about getting hydrophobic once it dries up. Uh, this is just regular nursery pots. And again, they're gonna have some holes right on the bottom and, not, and you have a hole right in the middle. And that, that hole in the middle, it lets it let roots out and also lets them in. So I don't like that. Uh, if you're growing on, on pavement, it doesn't matter. And up over here is, this is the, the uh, Primark Freedom blackberries. And this is the off of Athens. And this is the uh, pumpkin blackberry. That's some of the mushrooms that I've been growing. That's the sweet leaf over there. I noticed it's getting like little flowers or something under it. Yeah, little flowers under it. Yeah, they did it at the nursery too. Huh. And this is the one that is the ornamental. That's why I came back over here. And just so you can kind of see it. So that's what it looks like now. It's probably getting pretty ripe. You can't eat that, it's too small. It's got a core in it. But all these little ones will make another one of those. And so, you know, if anybody wants to come by and pick them up one and you have to have gloves. Well, she learns. That's how you learn. Yeah, 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 see, you learn your lesson. You don't put your nose where it don't belong. Yeah, see. I'm a believer in people need to learn life lessons. We protect kids too much today, and dogs. We have to let people learn things. Sometimes they get hurt, but they learn. We got a lot of people we like to bubble wrap our kids today, and they never get hurt. They need to, they need to realize and have a wreck on a bike and they skin their knees up just so they learn not to do stupid this stuff. Girl, huh? We now let people get to be adult age where they learn to do stupid stuff, and it gets to be more serious. Uh, now, granted, I have one kid refused to ride a bike because he had a wreck, but. <laughs> But other than that, the other three learned how to ride by. Oh, and this here, something you need to watch for if you're in, in the south. Right here, and I didn't see it. That there's fire ants. Wanna see something fun? Again, I move my foot finger out fast. Mm -hmm. In here. Let's stir them suckers up. I don't like fire ants. Okay. Yeah, right there. And what they'll do is they'll come in from the hole in here and they'll go up there and they'll get up in there. Hey, I got a basil growing out of the grass. Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, it's going out of one of those holes in the bottom. Oh, is that what it's doing? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess right, since we kind of made that circle, uh, I will show one other thing. Well, I will show the blueberries. They're usually interesting. They're doing something they're not supposed to do. Uh, <laughs> This is probably the best growing one. This is the, it's called Cortis. I cannot remember the first name. I will remember once we shut off the video, I'll remember it. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a cordless pineapple. I think it also had some fire ants in it. 
They do like pots. Maybe I killed them already. What is growing in that red bucket there? Is this here blueberry? Huh? What else is growing in that red bucket they're eating? Grass. Okay. And this is blueberries, and it's got nice little blooms all over it. Oh, no. Well, I don't know. They tend to do that sometimes, uh, and I used to get really worried about it, and this may be too much, I don't know, but they still seem to go ahead and make it next year, so. And sometimes you put blueberries on it, they carry it through the year, and then, they, then you'll get, you know, they don't necessarily die off. But usually that's happening in December and January, not November. So this one here's got a few, a few of them on it. This is the uh, pink lemonade. This one it doesn't make real well. But boy, anyway. Good. Good. Yeah. I actually like the uh, sunshine blue good, but I don't have any of that anymore. Uh, and then over here. Hmm. We just had a, rain, a couple of rain, so let's turn it up. But I'm checking to see if those fire ants are still active. And they are. Nasty but they do eat ticks, so. Yeah. <clears throat> this here's O'Neill. That's another one that's still in high bush. This is Sweet Chris. As you can tell, it's just a massive growing and all kinds of crooked limbs. Uh, this here is Snow Chaser. And then this here is another Sweet Chris. Sweet Chris is probably the best flavor of all of them. Uh, it's got good texture to it. It does have a, a crisp uh, texture to it. Again, I'm up uh, pigs that I need to start taking out. It's not ready yet. Yeah, I know. Mm, you squished it and it was hard? Yeah, and also it's it's not, that neck is still uh, ready. That neck is left over. Maybe it'll be ready when Brian comes in. It's probably ready tomorrow and when we're gone and we yeah. eat it. That needs to happen. <laughs> Probably so. Same same thing with this. And it's almost ready. It's changed colors. It's, it's gotten a little bit bigger, but it's not because that, that neck's hard and it's hard here, so you know they're not ready. This is something that's eating on them. I think it's mites. Yeah. Fungus is growing. Main thing I want to show for this is this is uh, the loquat tree. And mm -hmm. what's happening, it's got fire blight on it really bad. I've got to cut it down because it's going to die anyway. I don't want to infect the other one. Right. And you can see it's, the bark there, it's all crinkled up. So it's basically dead. I just don't know it yet. Uh, this right here, I think, is still alive. It's coming off kind of the side, but it's a goner. So loquats will do that sometimes. Uh, they do get fire blight on it. Kind of blight. They get fire blight on it. Uh, this, is that one ready? Is it squishy? Yeah, I felt it, but I wasn't for sure exactly how squishy it's supposed to be. It'd be better in the morning. Okay. The birds already identified it. <laughs> They're watching it too. Uh, what big girl? After the video, take it back and put it by the house and cover it. Or something. Okay. Uh, this one here's got some. This one's in the ground. Mm -hmm. Doing all right. And to kind of show you the last little look watch. This is Barbie loquat. Uh, it's got really good flavor to it. It does have kind of the uh, apricot taste to it, and it's starting to bloom out. And they all bloom out this time of year on loquats. And then you got to hope that you don't get any really cold weather uh, throughout the winter. Uh, we're right at the edge of it. Uh, some years they'll make, and they made last year, uh, which would be this year. Uh, they made this past spring but the three years before that didn't make anything so that's why i have in pots but anyway uh the last thing i'll show is open all the spinach and again we get a little bit of frost on it but it's it's still doing good i say it will come back uh next year uh even though she'll freeze down die out because it's come back from the roots but anyway that's the video for this week uh again if you want to check out my wife's channel like i said she does more of the cooking for that part of, of, of the stuff in the house i do this the growing on the outside our kind of deal was i can grow it she preserves it uh she does know a lot about canning and things of that nature so if you want to check out her channel i will put a uh, link to her channel uh in the description or in the comments anyway thanks for watching bye